Hi, good morning. Hi, good morning, and welcome to today's products in focus. You can see there the US 30 has broken through potential uh, resistance at 16.738, now targeting 16.969. And it does look like um, we're getting a very strong recovery after the wobble in the markets just two weeks ago, uh, with most global equity markets actually moving higher this morning. Uh, at the time of recording this, the uh, European markets just opened with the Germany 30 and UK 100 all seemingly posting a decent start to the morning. Technical signals are still quite bullish with the MACD crossover and the slow stochastic there breaking above the 20% uh, level. Um, not like a massive rally this morning, but we did close at the top end of the candle on Friday, and we are following through a little bit more with this so far there today. Uh, and uh, if things continue to go well, um, people will be looking <coughs> will be looking at 17.362 as a longer term all time high, and the next potential resistance after we break 16.969. <coughs> Looking at the UK 100, uh, we actually have been slightly higher this morning, um, but we're still pushing on. Uh, looking at 6463, uh, we are trading above the 21 period SMA. That we need to tidy up this chart a little bit because we do have a, a large number of support and resistance levels on here. Um, we'll come back to that at some point later on. Again, technical signals there also looking relatively positive. Uh, nowhere, the chart is not quite as uh, as nice as the US 30. In regards to recovery, so there's a lot more ground for the UK 100 to make up. Um, so obviously, the US earnings season is helping to um, boost the US 30, and uh, we had some very good earnings there on Friday. Specifically, Microsoft still doing quite well in that region as well. So, uh, a lot of U US stocks outperforming expectations. US looking relatively uh, comfortable, uh, as most of these as US earnings season only has. Uh, a small number session left to complete. So looking at Japan 225, uh, dollar yen as ever has been in focus uh, between 108 and 109 uh, and that's helping to push Japan to do five up higher, uh, albeit the potential resistance at 15488 has remained in place for the last three sessions including today which also coincides with the 21 period SMA. Uh, we, need to, we need to be able to pump through that to, uh, to re-challenge 15828. So looking at dollar yen, um, we have been seeing some interesting US dollar moves in the last couple of sessions. We had an amazing breakout there on uh, on Thursday, uh, but a lack of um, a lot of direction and conviction to push on higher. That we do appear to be utilizing the 21 period SMA as potential support, which could still act as a springboard to get us up to 110. But today we're already towards the um, towards the, the the bottom of the range. Um, and we almost got a crossover there in the MACD. Um, but we need some positive uh, US dollar news coming out today uh, to help uh, push this up that little bit higher. Fortunately, not going to get it today, uh, I don't think, because there's not a huge amount of US data. Well, you've got uh, housing, you've got housing index data coming out too, but that's not going to have a huge, massive impact on the US dollar. Um, we do have some European data Tuesday again, not too much. Uh, fast forward onto Wednesday, again, not too much. Um, Thursday, uh, US wise, well, we've got. We've got uh, a larger amount of data, a whole host of GDP data and jobless claims, and that might be Thursday that we have to wait to get that 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 true catalyst because you're not going to really get it today, uh, or tomorrow or Wednesday, uh, based on a lot of these factors. Unless earnings continue to to be expectations, um, the dollar might be a little bit listless. So moving on to the crude oil, uh, as ever, West Texas is uh, drifting lower, still targeting potential support at 77. Resistance remains at 84. Um, technicals are still oversold, um, but we're not getting any massive rebound as uh, kind of supply glut continues to hit the markets. Obviously, we had the crude oil inventories there uh, last week came in much higher than expected, and um, with Saudi Arabia still looking to corner the market with market share rather than defend uh, prices by cutting back on supply, um, people seem to be quite happy to have West Texas below $80. So maybe we'll get it at some point this week. So looking at gold with risk, uh, risk appetite back on, gold's getting hurt a little bit, retreating back down below 1241, eyeing up 1218 as the next potential support, but you've also got the 21 period SMA right there as well. Um, that's probably closer to 1224, just $4 away from where we are right now. We are in the middle of two ranges, so gold probably isn't that, that much of excitement for many traders out there. So Euro dollar, European stress test came out, uh, a small number of banks uh, failed, I think it's between 24, 28 banks, uh, nothing too major, albeit I guess one of the headlines was that the Lloyds only just 
uh, scrape through that stress test right there. That's why Lloyd's is down, running about 1.6%, uh, whereas most other banks are, are up. But um, the stress test um, did perform better than, than 2011, 2012, um, but still some lessons to be learned right there. Eurozone is still a little bit delicate. Um, but nevertheless, the euro did have a little bit of a, of a move higher this morning, but very much lacking conviction as ever. Trading between two ranges, 126.61 and 27.46. Um, not really anything to write home about right here. We are looking a little bit top heavy, even at the bottom of this uh, uptrend. We tried to rally back up, but we failed to do so. So I think the euro dollar is still very much on the back foot, but we do have some European data due out today, money supply and German IFO business survey data, uh, which uh, could be either a help or a hindrance for euro dollar, depending on how they come out. And we finish up with GBP USD. We had a bit more of a rally there on Friday as UK GDP came out relatively well, nothing special though, um, but no follow through again today, bouncing off that 20, 21 period SMA. Um, we're probably still gonna be in a period of consolidation around here. Uh, still looking at one spot 6009 to one spot 5917 as a springboard for an eventual move back to the upside. Uh, though it does depend on how strong that US macro data comes out. And the way things are going just now, I think the, um, the US is about to um, push on again. Um, but we'll have to wait to see if the data backs that up. Keep your eye on the chart form as always, make insights part of your layer and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.